Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. It's the Christmas season. It's the most wonderful, most magical time of the year. It's Christmas, so let's open our hearts a little extra. Christmas is one of the most perfect times to reconnect those lost bonds or those connections throughout the year where we haven't necessarily had time to make sure that they're at top notch and our family is as close as what they should do and those people should be. No. Perhaps it's not that. Perhaps it's a friend. Perhaps it's somebody who you may have had a crossword with, or perhaps that you haven't been in touch with them for a little while. Christmas is a perfect time to reuniform all of that and to bring all of that together with the magic of Christmas. Christmas is all about giving, of course, and coming together and sharing those magical times, sharing that love and sharing just how wonderful this season is and how magical and mysterious um, it seems to be of being able to make incredible things happen. So, Christmas is a, is a great time to be able to hang up those grudges. Grudges are far too heavy to carry in life anyway, but Christmas is an amazing time. It provides us with opportunities to rejoice, to be able to forgive, to be able to give back. And I don't mean just by saying to somebody, I'm sorry, it's all over, it's done. If somebody truly is meaningful and somebody truly wants to make a change, then they will. But listen, Take care of yourself, number one, and then look out for others, of course, always. In my prayers, I always ask for courage to get me through difficult situations. I always ask for my family to be loved and to be taken care of and to be guided. I always say to the Lord above to guide us and to give us strength to be able to handle what is thrown at us in everyday life. We all have a path which is for us. It's up to us if we choose to follow it or not. People say things they don't mean. People say things that they do mean. But sometimes we have to look through all of that and read, is this person genuine? Most of the time they are. Most of the time people want to be good. There's good in us all. We've just got to find it. Sometimes when we're hurt or we're angry, we say things we don't mean. Sometimes those feelings hurt others and they leave people feeling quite raw and like that they can't come back from it. But Christmas time is a magical time which allows us to feel that actually everything's a little bit more easier to kind of repair or to rejoice or to kind of bring together in uniform. It's all because, of course, we get to switch off. Not everybody does, bearing in mind, so hold caution on that. But most people get to switch off and enjoy the season, rejoice and come together with family and friends, share that love and that true affection around a table, around a Christmas tree of wonderful things and treasures and all those incredible things which Christmas holds dear. And that isn't of monetary value. That isn't the finest of gifts. And that isn't always the most expensive of everything. Christmas is much, much more than that. If you didn't have a gift around the tree, as long as you had the love and the affection, and the close bonds of which family and friends and dear friends hold and provide us, then Christmas would be the most richest of them all. You know what? Christmas time for me is huge. It's huge for many, many reasons, but it's also difficult. For example, I no longer have my dear Nan. My Nan was a huge, huge and is and always will be part of my heart and a huge part of Christmas. But I truly do believe, and I heard this actually in a recent Christmas film, that actually if you hold a loved one in your heart, that they're never ever truly gone. For me, it's always that my nan is above me uh, with the Lord and she's looking over us all the time and she's guiding us and she's giving us strength and, and she's watching over us. And I'd like to think that she watches over me with a smile. I'd like to think that she looks down and there she's proud. Often life can be difficult. Life can often be hard for a lot of people. And as a lot of people come and switch off now for Christmas and enjoy the festive season, this year we were all look back on has been a tough one, whether it be through illness, whether it be through the rising costs in the Western world, or whether it be worries and fears for the years and the times which lie ahead. It may even be closer at home and in families. Christmas is a time where we get to switch off from all of that and we get to just enjoy the very now and forget about what's to come, forget about what's happened. The saying goes, doesn't it, that the past doesn't define our future and we shouldn't allow that. I'm a true believer of that. As I say, there's good in all of us. Christmas truly is a perfect time to forgive and to forget, to move on. Grudges are too heavy and too heavy to bear and hold. But first of all, bear in mind that person may need time 
That person may need time to look back on things because life is busy, life is hectic. We all need to process things. What I'm talking about has happened to me very recently of a dear friend of mine. Things were said in the heat of a moment of actually, I never even understood what happened, but it was an argument of which happened way over my head, to be honest, and I happened to just not pick the message up on my phone as quickly as possibly I should have. Sadly, one thing led to pretty much of a nasty conversation, and um, I haven't spoke to this friend. I will, in time, and I wanted to share my experience that actually, it's not all negative. We just need time to process this. I don't hate anybody in this life at all. But it's all about taking time, ste stepping back and reevaluating things. Christmas so magically does that. It allows us to breathe, to shake off those horrible bonds, those fixtures which hold us, whether it be through grief, through loss, whether it be through fear, whether it be through financial loss, relationship loss, whether it be through horrible things which have happened to us. As soon as the Christmas season comes along, it seems to almost let us go a little bit, let us be able to feel, let us to be able to breathe. Christmas truly is a magical time. It's not just the guests around the tree. So this Christmas, let's open our hearts a little bit more. If you can give, give. If you can make somebody's day, make their day. Don't wait. Do it right now. Because nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. Nobody is promised a tomorrow. Nobody really knows what happens from one day to the next. If your family are all around you at Christmas, then you are blessed, and I thank God for you. There will be families which will celebrate Christmas, and they will have absent physicians, absent members at their Christmas table. My heart goes out to them, and I truly pray for them to have comfort, and to have love, and to really take a time to remember the good. And I pray to God that he comforts you and your family, and that he truly washes over you and gets you through. Life is not always easy. In fact, a lot of the time it's tough. But I always remind myself that why should it be? Because all the amazing things in this world are worth fighting for, working hard for. My nan taught me many, many things in this life. She taught me these off the top of my head. To never, ever, ever give up. To keep going. Family is everything. And lastly, always look your best. My dear friends, my subscribers, you're exactly the same. Thank you very, very much for being here. God bless you. Take great care. I hope you enjoy the festive season. Happy holidays to you and a very, very Merry Christmas. And I hope that you have an amazing, magical one. From my heart to yours, much love. God bless. Take great care. I'll be seeing you real soon.